So I wanted to start videoing this because I'm cutting a clutch. Um, that's a surprise to me. So one of my girls that I've actually, she's the first ball python that I had, um, that I've thought just the whole time was, you know, like a black pastel Mojave, um, actually turns out she is het for something. So inside this egg right here, so I bred her this year to a leopard pied het clown, and we got a visual pied in this egg. But I am pumped about the fact that she's proven out for something else that I wasn't even expecting. This is a complete surprise. Um, had no idea she had any het pied in her. And uh, you know, let's see it. She has six eggs here. Um, I cut this top one, and I've got one, two, three, four, five others, it looks like. So, holy cow. Yeah, I'm really pumped about this. And usually I don't leave eggs together, but I was actually out of town the weekend she laid this in Arlington, I believe, or maybe it was like the weekend before. Um, but either way, yeah, it was the weekend before, but I wasn't in town at home. And uh, the person that was checking on all the eggs didn't, or all the, the babies didn't feel comfortable pulling the eggs. So we just left them together in there for like an extra two days, basically. And this one, that looks like a leopard. And I can't tell if it's Mojave. It might be Mojave leopard in there, or maybe cinnamon or black pastel, sorry. Um, but, and I cut all of my eggs just so there's no issue with them getting out. Um, I had, you know, a few in the beginning of breeding four years ago or whenever it was that died in the egg just due to uh, wrapped umbilicals and stuff like that. So now I cut them and check to kind of see how everything's going with them. And I'll get some close-up shots in these eggs. So we've got what looks like a black pastel in there. Um, and I just do little slits. I don't do anything crazy. Um, and then I just kind of look in. It's definitely harder to cut eggs when they're all stuck together. Um, I've actually never done this. So just cut. I'm trying to just leave them in the box so that there's no, you know, I don't want to jostle around the eggs too much. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder to cut them when you can't pick them up. Okay, let's see in here. What do we have here? Uh, looks like a single gene leopard in there, but um, it could also be, it's got a wonky pattern. So maybe a low white, low white pied? I don't know, hard to see. Yeah, I can't pull them apart at all. Some of that goop to stay in. Let's see if we hit another pied. If not, I don't care. I mean, I was surprised there's even one pied, so <laughs> just proves that my girl has been pied all this time. And uh, yeah, so anyone that's bought from her clutches, which she's had. I believe three in the past, which she was bred to a banana. You have a possible pet pied baby. Um, so this one, this one seems to be a leopard Mojave in here. Um, from what I can see, it's definitely not a single gene of either. Um, there could be black pastel in there too. So most of these we're not going to be able to tell because I can't open them too much um, just due to the angle here 
but and I'm cutting slower than I usually do because it's an awkward angle. Um, but let's see. This is the last egg. You think it's a pied? Let's see. I can't tell what that is. What the heck? That is a weird looking baby, um, pattern wise. So don't think it's a pied, but it looks really cool. It might be the three gene like leopard Mojave black pastel, um, but it looks cool. It's super dark. Um, so we'll wait for these to all crawl out later this weekend or you know, whenever they decide to come out. So here's a little close up. It's basically just got pattern on its head and there's like a little saddle. It's hidden, but it's basically like right here on the dorsal, there's like one saddle. So it looks like it's gonna be a really pretty pied. Um, and I think it's probably a Mojave leopard, but I'll wait for it to crawl out and then I'll ID it. But I'm super excited about that, really pumped. There might